Hello, this is Comfort and welcome to My Kitchen Flavors. Today I'm going to be showing you how to season a new nonstick skillet. This will prevent your food from burning as well as any residue from building up so that you are less likely to scrub the pan when cleaning it and thus reducing its wear and tear. So this is the frying pan which I bought a while back and I've been so looking forward to doing this tutorial. We're going to start by giving it a really good wash in a little bit and for that we need just a mild dish soap and a sponge. Now you need to keep in mind that using the abrasive side of the sponge is a big no-no in order to avoid scratching the delicate nonstick surface of your skillet. Go ahead and thoroughly wash off any dirt and impurities on both sides of the skillet. And when you're done with that, make sure to rinse off the soap bulunji. <laughs> Next, you just want to wipe your skillet dry. I started out with a dishcloth and finished off with a soft pepper towel. Now that the frying pan is clean and dry, we are finally ready to start the actual seasoning process. First, you want to add about two teaspoons of any low smoking oil to your skillet and then spread that nicely around the base and up its sides. The oil is intended to keep the pan from overheating and it will essentially seal the pores that exist in the non-stick surface, making it even more non-stick. Next, you want to turn your flame on to medium heat because high heat will damage the non-stick coating of your cookware. Place your oiled skillet onto the stove and heat it up for 4 minutes. Four minutes later and you want to remove your skillet from the stove. Using soft pepper towels, you want to start to gently rub the hot oil into and across the entire nonstick surface. This is the seasoning of the pan. The heat opened up the pores on the nonstick cotton and now the hot oil is getting in there to season and to prime it. After the seasoning, you should let your skillet cool down for 45 minutes because you should never, ever, ever pour cold water over a hot non-stick frying pan, otherwise the coating will be damaged through warping. Now you need to repeat this entire process again for as many times as the manufacturer's instructions say. I seasoned my skillet three times and this is what it looks like. I am just now wiping off the oil and as you can see my skillet is smooth, it's shiny and it's ready to use. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you learned something from it. Until next time, God amaze you with a wonderful something or someone. Bye!